So now that you know that you have made yourself your own victim with your own words, just like I have, now that you know what's really going on here, what upsets me with churches, if you know the <laughs> truth, why aren't you singing songs like, I have the power? Because when Jesus came back, he didn't do one miracle, remember? And why do you think that is? Did you ever watch a baton race where they hand the baton? He gave the baton to you. And you've been standing there holding the baton, whining, instead of reading the instructions, listening to people who want to take your money, who want to keep you stuck holding that baton, speaking horrible things for your future. And whose fault is that? Who didn't read the manual? Seeking you shall find, right? You have the power. He gave it to you. Every human being on this earth has authority. If you are born through a woman. Now in the courts, they try to get you to say that you're a human being. In the Black Law Dictionary, that means you're a monster and you have no rights. They don't have to feed you. They can fuck you. They can kill you. And they're going to get away with it. It's their game. You don't get to change their game. It's about them and their money. And ministers are involved and they will be tortured the worst. They knew they could have given you a shortcut. I'm here to give you a shortcut. Your words are seeds that are making your future happen. Period. Period. Your words. What are you saying? The day you believe your words, your life will change. Jamin was always a musician and he could sleep through anything. I mean anything. I used to call him Coma Boy. Go wake up Coma Boy. Come on, we got to get going. Who was in a coma? Who did that? His mother, me. I did that. What damage did I all cause in my family? Because of what? My words, my mouth. And a lot of times, oh, I thought I was cute. I was funny. Ha, ha, ha. What damage are we causing? When you're a Christian, I get a vote because I'm a Christian. It says once you see they've messed with the voting system, you're supposed to take them down at any cost. So I don't know what you're waiting for, but I know what's coming our way. So stand there holding your baton. Now, you're never going to have the right kind of belief system in God if you don't read the Bible. Because if you have no root and relationship with the great God Jehovah, the Holy Ghost and the Lord Jesus Christ, if, he, if Jesus is not your Savior, you're not just going to hell. You're going to suffer and lose. And you may even think you're winning for a while. You may even think you got it all. 
but you're going to lose because that's how Satan works. That's how witchcraft works. It's how it all works. Unless you're rooted in the word of God and you can find your, what you're doing, your belief system in the word of God, you'll have no root. So what you're believing for, and it'll be easily taken from you easily because it don't look like it. And well, look how they're reacting. Shut up. Shut up and speak the word. You love this person or not. You foul evil spirits. Name the spirits. Call them out of your loved one. Plead the blood of Jesus over them. Don't speak how they're acting. Don't you know that people go to a lower level of uh, mentality? They surround themselves with that when they feel poorly about themselves. Stop that. Climb back out of that gutter. You're better than that. You're beautiful. You're smart. You're intelligent. You're creative. God made you with a plan and a future. Get off that ride. Read your Bible. Ask Jesus to come into your heart. Speak only what you want. You're creating your future. You got the power here. Yes, Jesus gave it to you. He died. He purchased it for you. Praise Jesus. But stop saying, well, I know God can do it. And, 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 and get out of your mm, fantasy. You're not helping nobody. And I'm starting to think you don't even care. You don't care if you help anybody. Are you that selfish? Are you that selfish? Is it all about you? Because that's not going to work in life. That's not going to work at all. And notice how liars are being exposed. Praise Jesus. Liars are being exposed. Evil is being exposed. People are looking sideways at people like, you got caught in a lie. I believed you, Aunt Kelly. I believed you. Mm -mm -mm. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Touch not mine anointed. Touch not mine anointed. You want to know why Bethany changed her story? Because she knew they were going to kill her. She said anything she wanted, they wanted. She's not stupid. She got out of Dodge with her life and the protection of her family. They're all lying to you. It's all a lie. They seal it and it's over. I won't even name the people that are going through it right now. I told them. I told them. The second you make the news, the second you do any kind of a, oh, this, what I'm doing, anything, the second you do that in their courts, it says that they conceal it for the protection of others because, well, it got out to the media. Oop. Yeah, wake up. I tell you the truth. I'm not here to make money. I'm here to stand before God and say, I told them. Yep, I told them. I told you.